Hey, this is Paige again. It's um, March 28th. It's a Thursday afternoon. It's about um, almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it's been about a little over a month since I made my last video. And uh, before I get going to tell you what's been going on in that month, um, I've had two issues come up with people. Um, one is people say, "Where, where's my computer? Because uh, I've moved it since I moved to this apartment about a year ago. And uh, just for information, this is in my guest room, which I really haven't um, put a lot of time into. I've been putting time into my bedroom and things like that. Uh, but I moved it in here, out of the dining room, when I got my dining room table. And they've also asked me to show them what I'm wearing these days. And uh, since, you know, in the old days when I made these videos, it was usually at night when I came back from being out. And um, But of course, the last three months, I've been last several months I've been making them while well, I'm not working very much. So um, this is what I'm wearing today. I step back just for a moment. <laughs> I uh, did go into the office today for a little while just to more or less touch base. I was there for a couple hours. I hadn't been there for a couple weeks and uh, things are slow so I haven't been working much. I, um, but I did go in, I talked to Chris, the man I mentored, I talked to the managing partner who we had a wonderful conversation. She's been very nice to me. Uh, she's very wonderful. Um, she was one of the people that had uh, was taken aback when I had announced my transition. Um, she was the first person I told, but she's also the person that knew me best and the longest for about 25 years. And it was hard for her. It was hard for her, but she's been really wonderful. And I think, um, especially since my professional association with the firm is being dialed back, as that happens, um, she relaxes even more uh, with me. And uh, the fact that I'm now living as a female makes it even easier for us to uh, be friends. You know, um, so it's 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 nice. Uh, the firm has been better to me than I could have imagined. It's they've been wonderful about my transition, about everything. Um, it's been a wonderful part of my life. Um, the big news in the last month is that my daughter came. Um, she was here for six days, most of her spring break. And uh, we did the normal stuff. We went to, to the movies. We went out to dinner. We went to lunch a couple of times. And uh, we did some shopping. And we went to a couple touristy places and uh, saw some sights. Um, <laughs> She called me, calls me dad, which is what I wanted him to call me. Um, I did caution her when she called me dad in the changing room at Ann Taylor Loft once. So I said, just call me Paige <laughs> in the changing room. Uh, but she was wonderful. She, we had dinner with um, the last night she was here with the managing partner's secretary. It was wonderful. I've gone out with her, socialized with her three or four times since I transitioned. And uh, Cameron would be talking about me, and she would say, my dad, she, which was really cute. She's wonderful. She's a wonderful daughter. And she's thinking about moving to Denver when she graduates, which I really hope she does, because I would love to have her close. I would love to have my son close, too. Um, but he just took a job at uh, Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., which is fantastic. It's where I went to school, undergraduate, and uh, it's a good job. He's got a good job, and it's his first job from college, and so that's every parent's great relief, a real milestone, um, both for my son and for myself as a parent. So... Um, I'm in a much better place than I was uh, a month ago. Um, things are falling into place in terms of living my life as a woman. Um, I spend um, 
a lot of time every day uh, involved in my recovery program. Uh, I'm working, I sponsor three young women. and uh, So I try to meet with them each every week. And, and there's several other young women who um, I'm not sponsoring, but that I have regular contact with. And it's all very rewarding to have these uh, women uh, accept me into their life as a woman. Um, to help them with their recovery, to help them live sober lives. Um, it's a real gift. It's a real gift. It helps me stay sober, but it's a real gift of acceptance if they can, they feel comfortable um, doing that because there's a lot of emotional intimacy involved in that, really. I mean, we talk about whatever's going on in their lives, boyfriends, whatever. Um, Everybody's healthy here. Jim's recovered from his uh, surgeries completely. Danielle's doing well. She's been laying the foundations for uh, transitioning um, professionally. Uh, and she's does consulting work, basically. And she has a couple of different things, organizations that she works with regularly. And she's been coming out one at a time to the important people and, and it's all going very well now her hair is growing out and uh, we're talking about whether she should dye it or, or what whatever but uh, she's very happy i would say very very happy um, <laughs> this is funny and strange i told my daughter about this <laughs> but um, some of the men in the program have been Two men have asked me to have coffee with them, you know, and uh, and I have, you know, which was interesting because, um, as I said, it's new, and I'm flattered. I'm flattered. I'm flattered that you know. I mean, it makes me feel good as a woman that they would want to have coffee with me, and uh, so I'm always, I'm always saying, "Well, you you know, I'm a transgendered woman, right?" And they go, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. That, that's okay with me. That's, I'm fine with that. And I was going, okay. Smiling and going, yeah, I'm not sure I'm fine with it yet. <laughs> what is this all about? What am I doing? What am I getting myself into? But I, I feel like a woman. And I'm flattered when men or males are attracted to me or want to spend time with me. It's flattering. But <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I need a woman to <laughs> ask me to have coffee with her. I do have coffee with women, but not, I don't think, with the same motives that these guys might have. I don't know what, they, what they're thinking, um, but I do know something about men. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go. This is short. Um, I'm happy. My life is good. Um, spring is coming. Uh, for you girls who can't shave their legs in the summer, um, I hope you find some way of expressing your femininity. Um, I hope all of us we continue to be safe and prudent. You know, don't get in strangers' cars. Think, think, think. Don't get drunk out in public. Put yourself at risk. And um, stay pretty, okay? Love you all. Bye-bye.